Hey everybody, my name is Sebastian Alpa. I'm the founder of Spark, an art yoga meditation program based in New York City. I'm creating this video as a free resource for parents and children during this time. Today's video is going to be how to create a mandala, which is the Sanskrit word for circle. And this beautiful type of meditative art is an easy to do piece of art that you can create at home. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. In order to get started with your mandala, one of the first things you're going to do is find the dead center of your paper. You can eyeball it or you can feel free to use a ruler, but this is just a great technique to find the center and that's how we're going to begin to radiate outwards. So I'm going to mark my center with just a little black dot. For the sake of drawing and for teaching, I'm going to just use a marker. You can use a marker at home or you can use a pencil at home if you want to overline and outline your pencils when you're done, feel free to do so. So to start my mandala, I'm gonna start with just one small circle right in the center. And just to make that a little bit clearer, I'm gonna actually darken that circle. Mandalas are full of patterns and patterns that you can create with your imagination or using references that you might find online. Commonly known patterns such as petals, lines, triangles, pointed petals, drop petals, we're gonna walk you through that step by step. So once you've created your center circle, draw a circle around it just to give it an enclosure. And it's on the edges of these circular lines that we're going to create our patterns. So my first pattern is going to be a pattern called petals. And just like the name suggests, these are small petals that are going to go around my circle. Take your time creating these patterns. And with that, I'm done with my first pattern. It's a pretty simple pattern from the center because the circles are gonna be tend, tend to be smaller. And when I draw my next circle, one of my effective techniques is to spin the paper, spin the paper so you draw a circle in pieces. Sometimes when we try to draw a circle really swiftly in one swoop, it doesn't come out at right. But if you take your time to draw it, it'll come out into a better looking circle. So there is my first circle. And around that circle, I'm going to do my next pattern. And this is a simple pattern called triangles. And triangles also, pretty literally, I'm drawing small triangles that go around the circle. It might create a little bit of a sun look. And as our mandala grows, we will add more circles as we go outward. And along with those circles, more patterns. Now, once you draw your pattern, you can always embellish your pattern. Embellish just means decorate your pattern. These shapes that we're drawing serve as containers so we can add more designs and decorate them even further. So you can see just by adding lines down the middle of my triangles pattern, I've made that look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to take that one step further by shading in half of the triangles. And this technique just allows me to bring a little depth to my pattern. And when I'm taking my time to just go around and get all of those edges. And just like that, you can, you can see the difference of just adding a little bit of black, it bursts the contrast level on my pattern. Next circle, I'm gonna add my next circle again, drawing it in pieces just to illustrate that technique again. Going slowly, I'm gonna draw my pattern, there it is. There's my next pattern. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create another pattern, and let's say this pattern will be called bumps. Bumps is a rather simple pattern as well. I'm just drawing semicircles around my circle to create the pattern of bumps. starts to get a little bit more floral looking that way. And for my design, my pattern design, so there's a pattern and there's a design that you can choose to create. Now, I have a mantra at Spark, which is you are the artist, you get to decide. So if your imagination is telling you to create a different looking pattern design, honor that and go for it. But you can see by adding a little bit of contrast into that pattern, it starts to grow. For my next pattern, I'm gonna choose a pattern that is pretty simple, but first I'm gonna add my line. I'm gonna add my circle. It's like curving slowly, I'm drawing it in pieces as again. 
I mentioned that's an easier technique to create a circle that is a little bit more contained and a little bit more spherical. So this pattern is going to be just called lines. It's alternating short and long lines. Also creates a little bit of a sunburst effect. As I go around the circle, a couple things you can keep in mind. Rotating it, drawing it either from the bottom or the top, whichever way it feels comfortable. By moving the paper, it puts our hand in a great position to draw with ease. And we always want to draw with ease. As I get to the end, and just like that, another pattern has been created. Now my next circle is going to be a little bit bigger, so I'm going to take my time and really kind of go slowly around the edges. You can see those lines are serving as good markers for me, so I know not to touch the lines. I know to stay a little bit above the lines. And this is, uh, what's special about a mandala is, is really how unique one can be from the next. If you draw a mandala today with some patterns, you might have different patterns the following day. And that's perfectly acceptable. It's actually part of, part of how they work. They're always gonna be different. Now for my next pattern, I'm gonna show you one of the key mandala patterns, which is called a pointed petal. A pointed petal kind of looks like a Hershey kiss. It goes up, there's a point, and then it goes down. And what you're gonna do is you're going to create these pointed petals around the outside of your, your latest circle as the pointed petals keep the same height, they start to look a little bit uniform as they form a line around the edge of that circle. And you do your best to just go slowly with these. It takes a, takes a little bit of time to get into a groove of how to draw them slowly and carefully. And as you can see, I'm trying to do the best to keep them at the same size. You do the best you can. Going up, bring that point down. Going up, bring that point down. The mandala pattern of pointed uh, petals are really one of the best patterns and most commonplace patterns. They kind of look like lotus leaves. I really like them because they look like lotus leaves. And there's there's my there's my next pattern. So you can see I've created this container. And it looks, it's almost like asking me, like, what are you going to put inside me? So I'm going to do another simple design inside where I alternate a pattern. So I'm going to create a pattern called Sunburst right here, which is these three lines. And then the following, I'm going to create a pattern called Rainbow. Rainbow just works like that. Three semicircles. And I've colored in the final one to give it a little bit of contrast. So I'm alternating and then going back to rainbow. And taking your time is part of doing a mandala too. It's a rep repetitive pattern. And there's something about doing something that's repetitive when you're drawing, which is very relaxing. And when you're drawing, try to keep in mind that there is no rush. This is just your time to create something that is unique and celebrates like this moment that you're in right now. And so as I create my next pattern, I might look at this and say, hmm, you know what? Part of my lines, they're looking a little bit even. And another suggestion you can do is you could take a Sharpie and you can create thicker borders around your circles. This will kind of separate your circle from your pattern and add a little bit of oomph factor to your mandala. There's just a little bit border now and that you could see the difference of just the weight in the lines just by adding that simple trick. So I'm gonna continue and this time I'm gonna actually create bigger pointed petals that span the course 
of two. So you can see I've covered two of my pointed petals with the bigger one. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to try to cover two of them as best as I can. Now, if you can't, there's another trick I'm going to show you. You do the best you can to create that next pattern. It could be a circle. It could be soft squares. That is entirely up to you. For the sake of this video, I'm just creating this with pointed petals just to show you this look. And you can see, okay, I've missed one spot right there. So here's an effective technique that you can use, which is called overlapping. I'm going to create that same pattern of the giant pointed petals, but now I'm going to overlap them and see what kind of look does that create. It's going to give me a look where there's now a pointed petal in between each of these now. So now instead of having four, I'm going to end up having more. And you can go around and you can say, okay, I need one right here. The overlapping is a great technique when you count an odd number of patterns and you're trying to fit them in. And just like that, it just starts to have a little bit more of a dynamic effect. Now, one of the other things you can do is adding contrast, like I said. So you can choose to vary the weight of your, your writing tool or illustrating tool. So I'm going to take a Sharpie again, and I'm going to just create some separation behind my pointed petals. By just adding four little simple lines, I'm going to go to where all the pointed petals overlap, the smaller ones, that is, and just bring a little bit of a different connection to it. And maybe around those lines, you create an enhanced pattern design. So I'm gonna just create just small circles around the edges of those little of those lines that I drew, just to give something else to it. Now, feeding into your imagination is a huge part of a mandala. We are creating from the inside and radiating toward the outside. As our mandala spreads, feel free to go with whatever design or pattern is in your imagination. It is a simple pattern that repeats. So drawing it over and over again, if you draw it deliberately and take your time with intention, you end up creating a beautifully complex and intricate looking mandala, really from just simple shapes. And as you can see, just with these simple designs, my medalla starts to grow and radiate outwards. One of the final things I'd like to show you is just by bringing in a pencil at the end, you can really add a really nice effect, which is shading your, shading your mandala. By bringing in shading, you create a little bit of a dimensional effect, and I simply shade around the edges of the circles to create a shadow-like effect right on the edge. It almost looks like each circle has a halo around it of just a simple shadow. And by adding this step, once you've done drawing your mandala, you just give it a little bit more life. It makes it, it, makes it stand out a little bit more. Uh, you've, you've noticed that I was drawing with a black and white, black and marked marker. My marker is a black. My paper is white. By adding the shading, I create the color value of like midtones within my mandala. And this is entirely up to you where you want to shade it. Just by shading these small pieces of my triangles, I create a little bit more depth in my triangles. One of those first patterns I did, I can bring a shading to the be the back of each of these petals just to make them stand out as well. And I'm varying the shading. I'm not making it too dark. I'm actually making it lighter just to see the effect of adding a midtone into my mandala. And it makes those pointed petals stand out a bit more. And it's really simply shading with a pencil. And you could be an HP pencil, a regular pencil. You can decide. You can draw a mandala entirely from just using pencils. But a marker, if you want to outline it, your choice, artist's choice, to bring it out and create that contrast effect. 
for the sake of teaching on this video, I wanted to make it stand out a little bit more. Now, there are so many different patterns and so many different mandalas that you can make. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Keep drawing, keep creating, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a great day.